Hey, what's up guys? Lindsay here. Got X-Men Red number two. And I gotta tell you, everybody's been talking about this comic and I have completely refrained from looking and watching any of their videos because I don't want my opinion to be influenced by theirs. But I gotta tell you, this comic has a lot of stuff going on. None of it's good? Now look at this cover. They're trying to trick us with a dope cover. Cause you... But is it really that good? We see Nightcrawler here and he's drawn really great love this style. I wish all the comic was done in this style. But it's as if he's looking... Oh, what's up? Are you looking at... Are you looking at a good comic over there? Is it... Is it somewhere far... Far away from where this comic is? Also, I just wanted to say, Nightcrawler has had a couple of his own series, one of which is written by uh, Chris Claremont. I didn't know that. Um, he's definitely top tier X-Men for me, and I, I just never even thought about it. He's had a few. He had uh, a couple in the early 2000s, so if you like Nightcrawler, probably check those out. I'm definitely going to do that on my own time, but let's let's get into this comic. Okay. I'm going to skip the first page, but it has this woman named Trinary, Trinary, and she's been black bagged to not a prison, but she's being held. And she's very blasé about it. She's got this just blank face. Like, even if I know I did something wrong, and I know I'm supposed to be in prison, but I end up in not... Even if I end up in prison, I'm going to be a little worried. Even though I knew I was could go that way. But she's just, just completely blank expression. Whatever. They're not going to kill her, but it's not going to be good. But she just has no emotion about it. Just look at her... This is, and you find out her father is the one who gave her up. And you see this. And look, just look at this blank-ass expression. And she threatens him by saying, And when I get out, the first thing I'm going to do is email your entire search history to your mother. Oh, I feel like I've read that in another Marvel comic, like, recently. Is that the biggest... Is that the ultimate fear of every adult? Is that... Let me just ask you this. Am I the only one who uses the incognito ta mode? Am I'm the only person who uses the incognito mode. Do people not know about it? What's going on here? And also, like, what... How about threaten to kill him? Threaten to do anything? But no, threaten to do that. Ugh. I feel like most adults, if that happened, would be like, yeah. There's nothing I can do about it. Whatever. Yeah, I got needs. And they waste this two pages on this. It's literally the second issue and we got this block of text for no reason. <sighs> All these... You know who should be leader to this, Kurt? Give me that. Get rid of everybody. Give Kurt a cool, a dope team. We'll see. We started this off where it's... Since the Jean Grey exploded the British ambassador's head, that's what the public thinks. A lot of people be doing muty protests. And I, I gotta tell you. Even if, hypothetically, my only hesitations about muty babies is, do we give them baby abortions while they're still in the womb? Or, do we allow them to get the full term, allow them to be born, and then make, like, muty hunting grounds or sell their uh, meat, sell their bodies for meat? Hypothetically, that's my stance on these genetic freaks. I would never... Do public protests again? Look, even if immune has the lamest powers of all time, it can probably kill a regular human. So why in the world would you ever do this? And you have these two talking heads. What was that? That's like, ooh man, I'm like super cool. There's like this dumb blonde woman and this crazy, I guess, Republican man, and she is so such a non-character. I, she's not even really that much of a dumb bimbo. It's just like, I don't buy it. I think there's more to this. It's like, form, form an opinion, please. Just form your own opinion. Just say... And then, this guy, I mean... I think a mutant just murdered for a foreign diplomat on U.S. soil in front of... In full view of cameras. I feel like his reaction is a little bit justified. I mean, probably not kill all mutants, but... Let's have an investigation. Something. But, of course, he's seen as this, like... I just feel like every bad guy is supposed to be Republican. I'm definitely not a Republican, but it's just, like... I live in Arkansas. They're not, I know these people. And it's just, like, calm, let's... He's, like, the extreme. 
So we find out the team is in Wakanda because Black T'Challa has offered them Black T'Challa. He's offered them asylum, and it's so funny because he doesn't even appear in it. It's like he's too busy signing autographs and stuff right now. And Jean Grey asks Lady Wolverine, "How's Gabby taking being displaced from her country?" And we get like the most stupid. Political exile is awesome. That's not how children talk. I don't know anything about Honey Badger other than like she just sucks. Okay, I I've seen her in one comic, technically two now. She sucks. I don't understand what her powers are. She's got a stupid costume that's supposed to be like Wolverine, but we already have a Lady Wolverine. I don't know why we need two of them. I can tell you. Look, I figured it out earlier. Honey Badger is only on this team to be future kidnapped. That's all it is. There shouldn't be, like, this little kid on the X-Men. It doesn't make any sense. That's all she does. She is just a future victim waiting to happen. Something will happen and she'll get kidnapped and it'll be like, Oh, no, she's a little kid. All these feelings. Bleh. Uh, and, like, does she not have parents? Does she not have a home? Does she not miss, like, the X-Mansion in Westchester? Or No, shit. It's not in Westchester anymore. It's in Central Park for whatever dumb reason. But she... Children don't speak like this. I don't understand. And we see this guy, he's meditating. And his name is Nezano Abidemi. One of the strongest mutants in the world the world has ever seen. Wow, the strongest mutant ever, and he's just sitting there. How dynamic, how visual. That's visual storytelling. And you find out that when he uses his powers, it hurts. The stronger he gets, the more pain it causes him. So you know, you know what would have been cool for this scene? Is if they would have had a flashback, you know, just, Kurt, Kurt, what you doing, dog? If, if they would have had some sort of, like, flashback or something to show us how powerful he is, or show him using his power but have this really, like, crushing, painful expression, that would have been great to show us, like, how strong he is. Because you're telling me this guy's just one of the strongest mutants ever, and he's just sitting there. And I ask you, what would be better for, for storytelling in a comic? Telling me that this guy is really strong and showing me a flashback of some event that he's done. Because I've never heard of this guy before. I don't know if he's like brand new to this comic or whatever. Or you could you could just fake it. Fake a flashback. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Show me a flashback or just have two bitches talking about it. What is more dynamic? Flashback showing me some action. Bitches be talking. I, you know what? You decide. You decide. That's That's one. That's... Write down in the comments below what you... <laughs> come on. And you find out someone has sent them a message, and it's uh, Trineri. She basically did a cyber attack, and in the case that she got arrested, this message would be sent out to Jean Grey. And also, it's so dumb because it's like, oh no, there's a code, What? what is it? It's G Oh, it's Jean Grey's bank code. It's her bank pin... oh man. That's, it's like, that's so, that's code breaking. That's code breaking, dude. How does she figure it? Whatever. And we get introduced to Trinarian. Oh my god, guys. It is, oof. I saw the thumbnail on the Diversity in Comics video, and I was like, oh god, I can't watch it. I got, I got for my own shit. I can't watch it, dude. India has one of the highest gender pay gaps in the world. Oh my god. It, that, I'm immediately turned off. All, expect, all expectations dialed they're all the way back to zero with that shit. On average, men are paid 25% more than women. Oh my god. Last week, every working woman in India was paid 25% more. But not those bitches who just be parents and moms. Fuck them. I tapped up their accounts for... From the accounts of the 25 highest earning CEOs in the country. How dare people work hard. And earn what they earned. You got it. You know what? The, like. The way I just said that is. I definitely think there's a wage disparity. And I don't. If you got a. If you got a couple million. You probably should share it in some capacity. But. I shouldn't be taken from you. Because that's just crime. And then we get. Honey Badger. Her Gabby. And just like that. I have a new hero. They're so, okay, let's just, let's just break, oh my god, alright. I think I even mentioned in my, in the first issue of this. India, this is not the biggest problem as far as gender goes in India. India has a law where you can't tell 
you're not supposed to know the sex of your baby, the gender of your baby, before it's born. Lindsay, that's weird. Why? Uh, because girl babies are worthless. You get nothing from having a girl baby. Apparently they earn 25% less. Huh? So, they... This hypothet I don't believe this, but hypothetically they're in less. I do know that the dowry system still works, and the dowry is the mo the the bride's parents pay the groom because the groom is has a real job, and he's going to be the breadwinner in that. So in order for a woman to get access to that, she has to pay into it. So how about that? How about you get rid of the dowry system? How about that? Or just prevent all the girl babies. Here's what happens: female babies are born. Moms take them out to like a dirt clawed baby grave where everyone does it. They lay their baby down and they pour acid on it. You think you think I'm making it up? I'll watch a documentary about it. I think I'll watch a couple of documentaries about it. It's just like Chinese people, they're a little bit less brutal. And from what I can tell, they just put their babies out in the wilderness. But th they put acid on them and it's just like, there's a law saying you can't know your gender of your baby because of that. Like... That law wouldn't exist if there wasn't some sort of complication. So the fact that you're going after this, oh, the gender gap, because dum-dums can say, oh, the gender gap in India, that's like, I'm scratching my chin, you can't see it, but I'm, sc I'm scratching your chin now. Oh, what? Is that like, is that, fuck, is that like America? Is that like America's gender gap that doesn't exist? Oh, man, I get it now. She's my hero. <sighs> India has bigger gender problems than this. If this aspect even exists. And I know it doesn't exist in America, which is who this is aimed for. And the fact that this little girl says, and just like that, I have a new hero. Kids don't care about this. You know what would have been you know what would have been more kid friendly if she just would have said, um, I robbed I robbed CEOs and I gave everyone in a poor village a dollar. That would that should have that should have more of an effect on that. Kids don't care about gender gaps. Kids don't care about CEOs. They don't care about that. They know Robin Hood, so you could say that aspect of it, yeah, but a little kid isn't going to care about this at all. It's just stupid. And now they just decide to go to India to go rescue her because she's a mutant. And this doesn't make any sense. It's so anti-X-Men because X-Men, they help mutants. This is, however, a mutant who did a crime. And yeah, she's not in jail. Yeah, she's in some black side or something. So that aspect of it is a little fucked. But please, can you? An adult woman would not do this. What the? F I don't understand. So just like she should be in prison, they should be breaking her out and putting her in a regular prison. So they head to India, and they find the guy who put her in the black site prison, and then they Jean Grey manipulates him to tell him where she's being held. And then I just want to show this little scene here. They're in a van, and they're breaking into the facility. She's there, so they're all in the van. They're all talking about, like, let's do this on the DL, whatever. I don't know why you need this many people. You know who could do this on his own? Nightcrawler. And I don't understand. As far as I know what Nightcrawler is, he can only teleport to places he's already been because he has to be able to visualize it. That's, I know I've, like, read something like that. He has to be, it has to be somewhere he's been so he can visualize it. If he can't visualize it, he could get, like, stuck inside of a wall or something. But he's definitely never been to this facility in India, so I don't know what's going on. But let's just look at this. <sighs> She's talking to Jean about getting in her head. Okay, I apologize for anything weird you see in there. Oh, and I haven't fully explored those feelings for the girl on the bus, so if you could, <laughs> could just leave those alone, it would be appreciated. What? What is this? I don't understand. This kid is like eight years old. Kids who are eight. They don't have those types of feelings, so what the hell? And also, why do you have to make your gay? Why do you have to make an eight-year-old gay? It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even, like, why? And why would you even bring it up? I doubt Jean Grey is noodling around in that part of your brain. She's just probably putting, communicating telepathically with you. So why even be like, oh yeah, I have feelings for a girl on the bus. And what are you even talking about? You're an X-Man, apparently, so what bus are you riding? You Are, are you riding public transit? Honey Badger? This is just so stupid. I don't know who this is for. You know what I realized when I was thinking about this comic after I read it? There's literally no one in this team I can identify with. 
There's, like, and I don't mean just me. Just, like, an average reader. All of them are just so blank and have no personality. And then they do stuff like this where, like, oh, yeah, the little girl, she cares about wage gaps and is gay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care if you make a character gay, but why does it have to be a little kid? Who is this for? Is Are, like, little girls going to read this and be like, oh, yes, I, too, have feelings for the girl on the bus. And I'm eight. Like, what the f So, I will show this, because this is, like, the coolest scene. You got every, like, it's the coolest scene-ish. You've got them breaking in, and it's so very, like, crack and skull. Like, Kurt is supposed to be, Kurt is a borderline ninja. And he's just cracking skulls, and then hacking, and then they're just standing there in hoodies. Kurt, Kurt, come on, dog. No disguise is going to hide who you are. And it's just cool because of the color choice on this and just showing that. Like, that's the coolest thing. And not, I'll be honest, it's not even that cool. It's the coolest, but it's not even that cool. So while all this is happening, there are people outside who are have guns and they're raging. And it seems as if... And Jean Grey does this, which is very, like... I just feel like it could be way more dynamic, but whatever. She tells them all to sleep, and she finds out that her immune powers don't, they don't work, and this woman just shoots her. And Kurt, she, Kurt can feel that Gene is no longer communicating with him, so he freaks out, but it's okay. She's back, and oh look, there's a sentinel here. Because it's X-Men. And it's got to be Sentinels. Even in India. Even in India they got Sentinels. Even in India. And I, I can tell you right now. I am going to be reading X-Men Red 3. Because my boy Gambit is in it. So subscribe so you don't miss that. But what is this? I don't know who this is for. It's like. This guy hasn't even appeared. Lady Wolverine is like. Honey Badger's babysitter. Oh what? Honey Badger has a claw too? What? What? Why do you have two? Why do you have two claw people? Namor is like, no, I don't think Namor would ever agree to be on an X-Men team. Kurt's my dude, Gambit's my guy. I don't know how he, because he, he's not going to fit in with all these ladies. And Trinari, who just is like, I think they called her Technomune, so she's like good at hacking. But she got caught. So what? She's not really, she's just a criminal. She's a mutant criminal, but she's here. And there's a dress code. Like, what is going on with this? They tried to trick everybody with this dope cover, but it isn't even really that dope. He's just on a rock. What is this? I don't understand what is going on with this or who this is for. It's supposed to be good, but I don't know. Something happened. Something happened, guys. Alright, have a good one.